I knew it! Hagodomo, the first Naruto Storm Connections DLC, is coming out on the 25th of January. That is this week, this Thursday. The same day as My Hero Ultra Rumble Season 3, and the same day as Naruto Shinobi Striker's new DLC, which is a defense type Gara. Put it all out on the same day, why not? How am I gonna cover all of that? No clue. We'll find out together. But for now, let's enjoy the trailer they put out with the newest DLC. There he is. There's the old boy. Is this a new soundtrack? Okay, that's the first jutsu right there. Uh, I don't know what that is. Into ultimate. Okay. Smack him into a wall. And big lightning punch. Okay. Kind of... Kind of boring, kind of... Okay, never mind, never mind. That impact is cool. <laughs> is this the Awakening? I think it is. Uh, what is that, though? What is that, though? Wait, what's going on with this moveset? Okay, we're gonna have to break this down. Because he has more moves than I expected. We're gonna see the combination ult. Let's go. It is Asher and Indra. Just this one time. Yes. What? Okay. That's a lot of balls. Oh, hold up. Hold up. That's... That's a penis. Right? I, I can't be the only one. Wait. Sure. Okay. It's a bit of a stretch. No, I, my mind's in the gutter. I, I'll accept that. But I saw two balls, and you know where my mind went after that. Anyway, we're gonna break down this trailer in a second, but first, let me tell you that there is a patch coming out confirmed with custom matchmaking. That means you're finally gonna be able to invite friends, and according to some data mining, we have seen the lobbies already, and they have spectator mode, they have tournament mode, they have a ton of different options. They don't have endless, or at least they don't call it endless, but you can make an endless with the amount of settings they have. The, the lobbies look amazing. If the data mined lobbies are the ones we get, it's gonna be great. And the patch that brings custom matchmaking online is coming out before Hagoromo, a full day before to be more precise, it comes out this Wednesday on January 24th. And because I knew this was gonna happen, we're gonna have a tournament. Join the AGC Discord, if you don't know, that's the anime game community. This is where we host tournaments for all kinds of different anime games. We just added Jujutsu Kaisen to the list of games that we support. And there's an ongoing vote right now to add another game. Gramble Fantasy Versus is really taking the lead there. But My Hero Ultra Rumble just got custom lobbies announced too, so maybe it will pull ahead. But this Saturday, I am hosting a Naruto Storm Connections tournament. It's gonna be 60 FPS, which means PlayStation 5 only, but we're gonna host it for both Europe and North America. I'm sure the competitive scene around Storm connections is going to evolve over time but we got to kick things off somehow so that's the tournament we're going to hold first i'm going to stream it on this channel that's right not even the second channel for live stream i'm going to stream it right here and at the same time i'm going to stream it on my twitch that's right i am coming back to twitch and this is going to be my comeback stream so this saturday if you have the game on ps5 north america or europe you're welcome to join the signups are on the agc discord now let's break down this trailer because this guy had a lot more moves than i was expecting i'm not even sure what the first animation is i mean usually a spinning cinematic like this either means an Awakening or a grab, but we know the Awakening has him holding the Nuno Boko sword. Or actually, maybe that's only a part of his moveset. It doesn't have the sword all the time. Okay, maybe that's the Awakening animation. We'll confirm that in a second because I do think we see his Awakened moveset in the middle of this trailer. Okay, here we have his attacks one, two, three, and then he backdashes into his first jutsu, which is just lightning spawning on top of you and dropping immediately. It's pretty fast. It looks really, really strong. Not sure if you can extend the combo from that or not because it cuts away immediately into something else, which is this big slash down with the Nuno Boko sword, and I'm gonna say that's maybe the down combo. Now we see him coming in, and we have the auto combo once again. Actually, we see the start of the auto combo. I think previously we saw the end of it. Right here, you can see the beginning, and you see the rocks right there? That's what takes it from the beginning until the end of the auto combo. So the whole thing looks like this put together. But this time he only does the beginning of the auto combo and goes into the ultimate animation, and Hagoromo hasn't really been the most well-received character. I mean, kind of mid-DLC if you ask me. And I think this ultimate reflects that perfectly. Like, yes, the guy is powerful, but the ultimate is him punching a dude. I love the after effect, you know, <laughs> CC2 animation always carries things, but you break it down and it's it's just him punching a dude and his hand has lightning, I guess. Not the most creative of ultimates, but also, I mean, they don't have much to work with. Up next, we do see him in Awakening and the moveset is pretty much the same, but he does summon the Nuno Boko sword, so this might be an Awakened action or an Awakened Jutsu. And I think so is this 
And so is this. Maybe one of those is just an up combo and nothing crazier than that, but it, it does feel like he's gonna have a lot more options once he goes into Awakening. He's probably gonna have like two Awakened Actions plus two Awakened Jutsu. It's, it's gonna be crazy. From here, it just Chakra Dashes and you can see his jumping combo. It looks devastating too, but it's basically just mash the attack button and he probably does all of that. Finally, we have the combination ultimates. Ashura and Indra unleashing basically what their ultimates are, but you can see them from a different angle. And the tiniest Hagoromo, I mean, just look at his size next to those beasts. But he summons a big orb of energy too. And uh, well, you know what happens next. We don't need to repeat it. That's the breakdown. There is no mention of a balance patch. So as far as we know right now, nothing's gonna get changed on that front. That said, I do think online custom matches are a big enough change to bring everyone back. It's basically the feature that was missing from this game. I saw Q tweet this and I fully agree with him on this. He has the best take. It would have been a better timeline if Naruto Storm Connections dropped on February 24th instead of releasing the half-ass game we got now. I'm happy we're getting our features, don't get me wrong, but we missed out on so many players. It's so many people that's never gonna touch the game again. Shit sucks. That's basically what it comes down to. Imagine the online lobbies are actually great. They are perfect. They're everything you could ask for. I mean, at that point, what are we even complaining about? Rage quits, I guess. Yeah, okay, they need to fix that. But for a lot of people, the bridge has been burned. This is a missed opportunity that didn't catch people at launch. The launch of a game is always when you're gonna get the most eyes on it. So if you disappoint a player base, there's a chance you will never make that comeback. That said, I think that comeback has happened in many games in the past, including Bandai Namco games. I mean, Naruto Shinobi Striker is probably the biggest example I can think of. But even Shinobi Striker wasn't as poorly received as Storm Connections is. So for them to make a comeback here, they will have to work twice as hard. But we won't be long until we are able to check out the patch and we'll be doing it next Wednesday. And don't forget, sign up for the tournament if you're on PS5, Europe or North America. The link to the AGC Discord is in the description down below. Once you join, make sure to get the Naruto Storm role and your region role as well. If you play these games on Europe and you're on PC, you get Europe PC or Europe PlayStation. You can get multiple roles if you play them on multiple platforms. That's totally fine too. I'm actually surprised they didn't show one of his jutsu in this trailer, but you can check it out right here. I mean, we go over the initial announcement and they show the second jutsu in some screenshots, admittedly. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.